Okay, in this video we're going to start learning some music theory. And music theory is a term for all of the rules that composers follow to write music, as well as the rules that musicians follow to play music. Music theory guides almost everything about music, from the rules of rhythms and how to write them, to chords and scales and much, much more. Some of the rules are so strong they can even be compared to the laws of physics. They are so consistent that they can help us predict what will happen in music. In this unit, we are starting to work on our key signatures. And the first thing that we have to ask ourselves is, what is a key signature? A key signature is found on the staff before the time signature and after the clef. And it tells us which notes are always flat or sharp. The nice thing about key signatures is that the flats and sharps in them always appear in the same order. So it brings us to our first rule of music theory, the order of flats and the order of sharps. Now, the order of flats is just what it sounds like. It's the order in which flats appear in a key signature. And the rule of the order of flats says that the flats always appear in a key signature in the exact same way every time. It's so predictable that if you tell a musician how many flats you have in a key signature without showing it to them, they will be able to tell you which ones they are every single time. The order in which the flats appear is B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. And that's really important. You're gonna to wanna to memorize that. So if we know the order of flats and somebody asks us what's in the key signature with two flats, we'll be able to tell them that the first two flats are B flat and E flat. And the same thing goes with the rest of the key signatures. A key signature with three flats would reuse the first two and add the third one. So it would have B flat, E flat, and A flat. So all you have to do is memorize the order of flats, B, E, A, D, G, C, F. And you will be able to use that order to help figure out what's in any key signature and any scale. Now the other rule, the order of sharps, is the exact same thing, but the sharps appear in a different order. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. A scale or key signature with one sharp would always have F sharp in it, and that's it. A scale or key signature with two sharps would reuse or recycle the F sharp and add the second sharp which is C. So it would be F sharp and C sharp, and on and on for the rest of the key signatures. Now the greatest thing about the order of flats and sharps is that the order of sharps is just the order of flats, but backwards. So if you can memorize the order of flats and be comfortable saying it backwards and forwards, you have both rules memorized. So your job is to memorize the order of flats and the order of sharps, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, and F, C, G, D, A, E, B, so that you can use those to help figure out what's in key signatures and eventually scales. So answer some of the questions, rewatch the video, and practice a little bit, and start memorizing B, E, A, D, G, C, F, and F, C, G, D, A, E, B.